Dear friends, let us learn the role of insulin in the regulation of blood glucose level. When we hear the word insulin, we may think of a drug taken up by the people with diabetes. But we may not know that insulin is one of the hormones secreted by the human body. Insulin is a protein hormone secreted by the beta cells of pancreas. Insulin was discovered by the Canadian scientist Frederick G. Banting and Charles H. Best in 1921. They extracted insulin from dog's pancreas. Insulin is a polypeptide hormone with 51 amino acids. It has two chains, A chain with 21 amino acids and B chain with 30 amino acids, held up by inter-disulfide bridges. Let's see what happens to the food we eat. When the food is ingested, it travels the digestive tract and gets broken down into its complete nutrients. One such nutrient is the glucose, a simple sugar. Glucose is absorbed by the stomach and intestine and then enters the bloodstream. It travels through the circulation to all body cells. When this glucose is absorbed by the bloodstream, the blood sugar level gets increased. Now let's discuss how the rice blood sugar level is regulated by the insulin hormone. Insulin is a small protein hormone produced by the pancreas. The increased concentration of the blood glucose stimulates the pancreas to release the insulin into the bloodstream. The released insulin regulates the blood glucose level by a process called glucose homeostasis. Now, the insulin in the bloodstream binds to the extracellular domain of the receptor proteins found on the surface of liver, muscle and adipose tissues. This binding triggers the autophosphorylation of the intracellular domain. Then the substrate signaling protein phosphorylates other downhill proteins leading to the amplification of the signal at each step. This overall signaling process is called signal transduction cascade. The importance of the signal cascade is the movement of the glucose transport protein called GLUTs. When these storage vesicles fuse with the cell membrane, the number of GLUTs on the cell surface increases. Thus, it allows the glucose to enter into the cell. The glucose inside the cell is metabolized to generate energy in the form of ATP required for all cellular activities. As a result, the glucose concentration in the bloodstream decreases. Hope you have understood that insulin converts the sugar we eat into the energy we use. Stay healthy and have a nice day. Thank you.